Head out to 209 Tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing yes. at his room. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jiu-jitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted as he's shown on a number of occasions. A fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not going to out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not going to out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. Yet again, Diaz is ready to fight. Sports atmosphere, I cannot think of anything bigger. This place is deafening as Conor McGregor makes his latest walk to the octagon. Every time McGregor walks through the octagon, John, it feels like the Super Bowl. I can imagine that's the only thing that matches the energy inside an arena when the notorious one hits the curtain. People love this guy. People love this guy because of his ability, though. They love the fact that he can go out there and put a person out with one left hand. They love the fact that he has shown an ability to compete at the top of the sport for a really long time. And they also love the fact that he does not apologize for being him. He is Conor McGregor. You're going to love him or you're going to hate him, but he won't change. And many have wondered aloud as to whether or not he would be back competing at the UFC, but in terms of scratching his competitive inch, there's only one foot the ground in the world on which he can do it. It is the octagon. Great to see Conor McGregor. Wait, fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Season winner, Nick Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, and the former UFC lightweight champion, the notorious Connor. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, most of you likely remember exactly where you were when Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz fought for the first time back in 2016. They rematched later that year. And the trilogy is here tonight. Yeah, here we go. Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. Three. These two guys have been a part of one of the most interesting series we have ever seen inside the UFC's octagon. They're both amazing boxers. Let's see tonight who can impose himself on their opponent. Tried early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a home for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his targeting very accurate with that straight left hand. So he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you. That hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. 
Just over 20 total strikes. Ah! Ah! That's the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Beautiful combination. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Diaz is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Oh, McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate there. Looked like that body kick got home. Under a minute to go. Do not back up. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. Oh, man, he's affected the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Oh. There, there he is. Look at that. Pretty good jab there by McGregor. Oh, man, that oh, cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Round two, Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. Ready. Good. Oh, nice job by Nate Diaz yet again to find a home for that left. Yeah, he finds that left hand, John, and as we have spoken to time and time again, it does not look like he's throwing it hard, but he's so accurate and is hitting so well behind that slap right hand that when he lands the left, he can hurt anyone. They say it's great. And it got right to the target. Oh, McGregor's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken. And we might get a ringside position or a referee. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. Oh, there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimp... All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. Got to stop the fight. Yes, and the doctor will do just that. I know the fans don't like it, but you got to tune out that noise if you are the doctor, the referee, and allow him to fight another day. The venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO.
Nate Diaz! All right, so Nate Diaz adding to his legend in a big way here tonight and really showing you, DC, that he can still compete and beat the very best fighters in this division. Every time he steps into the octagon, he's very prepared to get the job done tonight. He